Hello and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. It is Wednesday, December 21st, and this is Coffee with a Splash. So welcome. If you are joining me, do say hello. Let me know that you are watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy what I have for today. This is the last um, coffee with a splash that I will be doing before Christmas. So I thought I should, I thought I should get a little extra festive. So I put on my, uh, my cat, kitten's cat uh, sweatshirt. So it, uh, it probably qualifies for the ugly Christmas sweater, but tis the season, right? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. Let me just, uh, get this going here on my tablet so I can see see who's here joining me and watching. Why is this not updating? Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> so it is just a few days from Christmas. Hopefully you're uh, you're ready. I'm I'm not I haven't wrapped anything yet. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of wrapping, but I haven't wrapped anything yet. Which means I also haven't kind of taken stock. Do you sort of you know, you shop and then you put your, all the, the things out as you're wrapping, you're sort of doing that little inventory thing. Or did you start with a list? Like you were really organized way more than me. Um, <laughs> I'm not overly organized at Christmas for my shopping. I never know. I never know what I'm going to see, what I'm going to find, what I'm going to trip over, where I'm going to be. Anyway, um, I will have to get on to that and probably sooner rather than later, because they are calling for some kind of nasty weather towards the end of the week. So I should do that soon, sooner rather than later. But before then, let's do some crafting. There we go. So here is my card. It seems very, my picture seems very large today. So I'm gonna just, I'll hold this up so you can have a little better look. I have used the Bottled Happiness stamp set. Hello, Terry, welcome. Uh, for this card and this designer series paper is the dandy designs i have used this uh, on a couple of my facebook lives recently the connie's craft along and my coffee with a splash and i have to tell you i am so in love with it and you can get this it's a huge pack it's 48 sheets of designer series paper um, gorgeous colors gorgeous patterns and you can get it for free Starting January 5th, if you place um, a qualifying order, and in Canada, that is $120. It is a double item because it is an extra large uh, pack of designer series paper, but 48 sheets, so well worth the effort, and it is lovely. So I'm going to share some more of that today. Terry, you are just starting your Christmas cards. Oh my. Okay, well, you know what? You might want to say, hope you had a good Christmas and Happy New Year <laughs> as your message. But I understand. I, uh, you know, we all have our thing, right? I think, I think all my Christmas cards have gone in the mail. I think they're all, all gone. <laughs> I know there's a few more I could have sent and I had sort of thought about it, but I did not. So. You know, we're going with what we're going with, and I'll send some people some uh, some cards in the new year to wish them the best and uh, share some new products with them, perhaps. So I'm going to set this one aside, and we are going to make virtually the same card, but I've, I'm flipping my colors a little bit. So this is a petal pink card base, and for the next one, I am going to use a fresh freesia card base, standard card base, uh, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and I'm just going to fold that and burnish it with my bone folder and then there is a narrow layer of fresh freesia cardstock here so I am using petal pink and uh and then it flips here and I actually <laughs> actually got in gear and remembered to cut my circle out of this piece of cardstock so I have done that again on this piece I have cut the largest stylish shape circle from the petal pink layer because you won't see that that's missing. And Terry, I have to tell you, I had just made this card and I was just getting ready for the, with the supplies for this card and I was watching one of your 
videos yesterday and you did the exact same thing with basic black and it's like oh my gosh are we on the same wavelength or what it was hilarious because i had so many times i don't remember to do it and i'm sitting here and i've already cut this out of another piece and anyway yesterday we were both uh, both in gear hello gwen i'm so happy you found me welcome we are just about to uh put this card together so I'm using the the bottled happiness. It is too funny, isn't it, Terry? I laughed when I, I saw you do that. It was like, hey, she didn't even remind me. I just remembered. <laughs> and I didn't remind you, obviously, because uh, your video was already made. So click my view. There we go. So I've just used uh, a little bit of liquid glue around the edge when you are <laughs> when you do remember to cut a layer out of your uh, your background piece. Remember that you should not put glue in the middle here or you will have a sticky mess on your hands. So uh, just go around the edges <laughs> and it'll all get glued down when it goes onto the card base later anyway. But as you can see, it's not sticky here. So it's not going to stick to my paper and make a big mess. Okay, so two stamp sets that I used for this. I used Bottled Happiness, which is available in the annual catalog. Uh, and I've used the flowers. This is two-step stamping. And this one is leaves could be green, but I've done them in, you know, petal pink and uh, fresh reject because I can. <laughs> and then I'm also using Charming Sentiments, which is also in the annual catalog. And I'm using the Faith Over Fear sentiment. I really like that one. So. One of my favorites. So let's do some stamping. I'm going to bring in uh, this half of a stamp and pierce mat because these stamps are photopolymer, so they don't have any cushioning. So you want to add a little bit of a cushion just to get a, a nice clean image. And this is Calypso Coral, which will coordinate with this. There's Calypso Coral in this pot. Uh, there's an, actually, I think this is the shade of Calypso Coral. So this will go okay. There's not the darker color, but it will all coordinate because that's what Stampinet does. They make sure all the colors coordinate with each other. Okay, and so I'm just going to stamp that onto here just to give the bottle a little bit of shading, but I didn't want it to, uh, you know, stamp it. I didn't stamp it on white. I stamped it on flips of coral so that it would just be a little bit more subtle. And if you don't have the bottled hemp, excuse me, bottled happiness uh, stamp set, you may not know that it is available as a bundle with a punch. So here is my bottled punch. So I am just going to punch this out. If you don't have the punch, it is rel a relatively easy shape to fussy cut, but you know me and fussy cutting, right? <laughs> there's a punch, that's what I'm using. So there's my bottle ready to go. And then I am going to bring in some basic white cardstock and I am going to stamp opposite. So here I have my flowers in the petal pink. So this time I'm going to do my flowers in fresh freesia. going to stamp this down on here. This I did fussy cut. <laughs> you know, every now and again, you just got to do it. So there's that. And then well, I have petal pink. And I'm going to stamp this one over top. I'm <laughs> On camera, so it's going to be on a bit of an angle. So hopefully, I get it uh, in the right place. And the placement of this is not—it's somewhat forgiving. Somewhat. Let me just—I'm <laughs> kind of. There we go. That's getting better there. So there are centers to the flowers. So it's nice if they end up somewhere towards the center of your flower. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is a handmade card. Hello, Nancy Coe. Welcome. 
So there we go. Two-step stamping, but it's very easy with the photopolymer stamps. And as I say, if you don't have it perfect, uh, it's not the end of the world. Whoops, before I put this away, I should stamp my sentiment. So, this one, uh, on this first card, I have it in fresh regia, so I'm going to swap that over to petal pink. And again, let's see if I can get this where we need it. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So it's a good stamping day. <laughs> Even on camera. So then um, this is the part that I fussy cut. The secret when you are fussy cutting is to just, you know, open and close your scissors and move your paper. Okay. That's uh, that's what they tell me. The other thing, of course, is that practice helps you improve. And then the other thing that is helpful is to have one pre-cut. Ta-da! <laughs> I didn't think you would want to watch me once you cut that because I'm not the fastest. I'm not the fastest scissors in town, shall we say. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this uh, the flower pieces onto the circle, and I'm going to pop those up with dimensionals just to give it a little, a little lift. And then we start, we have to assemble the rest on the card because the bottle is flat and extends past this circle. So you can just put this wherever you like on here. Bit about there, and then I have this one off to the side. I think I'm going to do this one off to the side again. So I'm just going to set that down and then just kind of decide how I want this. This looks almost reddish, doesn't it? Hmm. Interesting. I think it'll work. I think it'll be okay. It'll be uh, covered over a little bit as well with this. So. Okay, so I think that is about where I want it. So I'm just going to leave the bottle here for a moment. And I'm going to put some adhesive onto this circle so that I can get everything. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Fluff. It's probably courtesy of my kittens. Just going to slide that down in. And put it right about there. So this obviously is another piece of the paper from the uh, Dandy Designs package. I love these little squares. I use uh, they have the same pattern in various colors. So I have used it in the blues on one of my recent lives. And I think it's they have it in greens as well. I haven't used that one yet. Watch for it. <laughs> it's probably going to happen. Okay, and then I'm going to pop my sentiment up as well. Let's grab a couple of these little guys off of here. And then I had put a bow on the other one because I had a fresh, I have fresh freesia ribbon, which I could use on this one. I don't have a petal pink ribbon. I could color some white ribbon, but I didn't, uh, I didn't plan for that. <laughs> so, there we go. So we're going to put this under here and we might, oh, I need something on there. I should have had this bottle just a smidge higher, but I think it will be okay. All right, put this onto my card base. And this is where all your secrets are hidden. <laughs> no one will know. Maybe only your hairdresser. Right. I guess I'm kind of dating myself with that comment. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, I had pulled out some of these iridescent rhinestones because not sure how they show on camera, but 
can you see they're they're like purples and pinks is is what they're iridescing. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a word, but anyway. Um, so I thought I would use those on this part. This is an iridescent pearl. Uh, but then I found these in my stash. And I was like, oh, I should have used those. So I figured I would use this for my second part. Let me put one of these on here. And then since we're not doing, I did do a bow. I think I did do a bow in Fresh Frisia. Just tie one and we can take a look. So I could put that on there. Let me think. I suppose it could work, couldn't it? It's in the card. Okay, maybe we'll do that. And then attaching uh, ribbon. Easiest way is with your glue dots. And this is very lightweight ribbon. I probably don't need two, but I usually put two glue dots onto it. And they just, oops, oh dear. Ah! Well, look at that fine mess I'm making. Don't just press your ribbon down onto your glue dot roll, lift it up, and you have sticky stuff on it. There we go. And then maybe we will stop at one gem on this one as well, because I felt that the paper was just busy enough without uh, <laughs> without any more gems. But just a, a little gem on our sentiment. So there you have it. Super quick and easy, especially since I had the fussy cutting finished. <laughs> um, don't forget to uh, save on some of your cardstock by cutting your your layer pieces out before you <laughs> glue them all together. Just today's little tip. Alrighty. So let me come back here. Where I am. There we go. So that's today's card. Uh, it didn't take us very long, did it? We were fast and efficient. Anyway, that's okay. It's a busy time of year. So. Uh, Oh, thanks, Gwen. I'm glad you liked the card. And, oh, Nancy, too. And Terry. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Everybody likes it. This paper to die for. I'm so loving this paper. And I'm really enjoying going back to the annual catalog uh, and pulling out some of the stamp sets that I haven't used for a while. You get to Christmas and all, you know, everything is Christmas. That's all we think about. So right now we have some time to to go back and pull out some of the other stamp sets that we haven't used for a while and uh, enjoy those. So thank you so much for joining me today. I want to wish everyone uh, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, um, ooh, Happy Kwanzaa, I think that's what you say. Uh, <laughs> what else? There's a whole bunch. I was reading a list of all the things that we celebrate in December around the world. So whatever you celebrate, I hope it is a special time. For you, I hope you enjoy time with family and friends and enjoying the season for what it is truly meant to be. Have an awesome day, everyone, and we will see you again really soon. Bye for now. Whoop, get in the picture. <laughs> there we go, waving. Bye bye. <laughs>